Oh, you look like a trike. Oh, stop running! Oh, I was close. I'm back. Hey everybody, this is Scripta. Welcome back to Ark Survival Plus, where creatures are floating on top of the roof. <laughs> So, as you can see in front of me, we have expanded a little bit. Borden has expanded a little bit. He already did another episode before I was even able to log on. So, we have some more stuff. This one, the stone anvil, I made myself. Yeah, I'm quite proud of that. I'm going to show you that in a second. And Borden made an alchemist table and a blacksmith table. We have a curing rack. We have that primitive loom, which previously was... This is stuck on the furniture and decor crafting table. Because this one, for whatever reason, doesn't place on the ground. Uh, but you can put it on another workbench, crafting table, whatever. That works. It's a little bit buggy. It might place once we actually get into uh, building real houses. Why do you have 9,900, 900? What? 9,999 out of 9,000. I don't mind. It's good. <laughs> Better this way than the other way around. Hey, Bronto. You alright? Alright. When you get close, this thing starts moving. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. Um, I spent some time, as you can see, starting over there to make some uh, palisades. Now, let's have a look at those. I, I have no idea what we use the bark for. I just throw it in here for the moment. Um, this is uh, the carpenter's, carpenter's inventory? It's the carpenter's workbench, I think. So, down here. A little more. There. I learned the Apprentice Carpenter and the Apprentice uh, Buildings, and I can learn that now, thank you very much. I don't even know if I can use that, because that needs metal ingot and cementing paste, and I haven't seen any cementing paste in the game yet. Um, now, technically, you would have zero engram points once you learn one of these. Uh, at level 30 you get 600 points, and then you can learn one of them. As I said before, what we're going to do in our server is uh, we, we're going to have extra points so we can learn all of them. Uh, every one of us will have at least one profession that they're gonna do exclusively but you know when you're not on for two or three days and other people want to um, continue with their stuff and they need something out of the carpenter profession like I don't know a hammer or whatever um, and otherwise the blacksmiths can't work then at least they can use in this case my crafting stations to make what they need and continue with their episodes right so that's why we have all of that um, yeah, that's that's why you use a carpenter's desk. That's what it's called. That's why you see all the stuff in here. Otherwise, this would be pretty empty. Now, let's have a look over here. Blacksmith table. Nothing. Alchemist table. Nothing. Let's rectify that. Obviously, we're going to learn all of them. Shame as everybody else. Let's get down here. And do this. And now I'm down to 900 points, which is okay. Everything's learned. Fine. Level 45 is when you get the upgrade, the, the journeyman. I think, and then the master comes down here at level 60. Alright, at least we spend our points on something. I still have unlearned stuff, like th there's so much up here that, you know, it just clutters your inventory, your crafting screen in here. Um, I don't really want to. I also switched off the folder view because I don't want to search. <laughs> Honestly, it's not that much that you can craft in your inventory. So, woo! Might as well. Gamma! Alright, um, yeah, let's have a look. Oh, there's quite some stuff in here. Uh, Neo poison, Arthropleura poison, Beelzebubu poison, sure, why not? Primitive grenade trigger. Uh huh. Poisoned arrows. Oh, look at that, there's a spyglass. Needs wood, height strips, and a glass lens. Now, there is something in here, I believe. Is a straw? Yeah, right there, wooden straw. A straw carved from wood can be used for glass blowing. That's certainly interesting. I, I wonder if you need a special apparatus for that. What do we have in here? Cork lid. <laughs> Alright, so you need to cork your bottles, <laughs> otherwise they dry out, I don't know. Uh, compass is a weapon, sure. Glass blowing station, now look at that. Crude plank, wooden nails, stone hearth. And thick metal plate. Ooh, we can't work on metal yet. We we haven't advanced that far. Glass blowing kit. Nice. All the things. All right, what's in here? Ooh, bronze boots. Bronze. Oh, I I would want to have one of these, and that might probably be a good idea. That's cool. Exterior light post. Sure. 
There's scissors. Yeah, we need to cut our hair at some stage. Metal saw. I think the metal saw is what we need to progress further because if you start needing like lumber. Yeah, metal saw, see? Uh this just needs a saw, which is the one you can craft uh in here somewhere. There. That's the one. Sharp and bone and wood, that's fine. Uh and a wooden support beam, metal saw. So no progressing further until we have that. So you see how this is all interlinked. This is really nice. I like that. Um, it's just, you know, it, it takes more time. You have to get used to where stuff is. I made myself uh, the, the eco station over here, eco's landscape crafting table, and put my stuff in here because <laughs> limitless inventory weight and like, what, 200, 300 slots in here? Yeah, it's definitely better than all the contraptions we currently have. We can now make storage boxes. Uh, they are in here somewhere, right Right there. 50 wood, 25 metal nails. What do we need for metal nails? Nothing, they're not in here. Obviously not. That took me to sink, that's cool. Access, allows access to the water in an irrigation network. So this doesn't give you water, it just allows you access. It's a tap. Needs a bowl, needs a bucket, needs a clay pipe. Oh, wow. All right. Uh, metal nails, obviously. Uh, I would think you would find them in here. No, you don't. Well, then probably on the blacksmith anvil is where you can craft metal nails. Oh, this is, yeah. All the grind. <laughs> it's a different kind of grind. I like it. Also, we have a mascot. Look at that. It says SPG mascot. Mm -hmm. Right there. Ich um, honest. That one ran around over there, down from the plateau, and it was red. Like, it was unclaimed. And it said... Press E to claim, so I claimed it. Don't ask. I don't know where it came from, but, you know. We have a mascot now. Yeah, Not that. There. <laughs> We're gonna keep that. Why not? Uh, Alright, let's 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 finish all of this up here. I do have some more of these palisades. I wanted to show you how to make them, right? Mm, uh, script R. Um, palisade thing. There. Needs wood and height strips. It needs 20 height strips for one of these. And I think you get two height strips or five height strips out of one leather. That went through all our leather and I had to collect mododos and dillos and all that stuff. Uh, Palisade door, same height strips. But first of all, you need the foundations and those need crude planks. And for the... Guess it. Oops. For the crude planks, you need to go in here and make crude planks. And guess what? That needs a saw. I went through... 18 saws to make what you saw in there, plus 300 foundations. Mm -hmm. That's what we have right now. I'm thinking about leaving this open for now. First of all, easy access to the water if you need to get down, which I do. Is there anything bad? It's the other reason to leave this open, so we can see if there's any raptors around or whatever. Ah, that hurts. Yes, I know, I'm coming. Yes, mom. Fill up that. And me. Thank you. Now we need to get back in. You can't get up here. Uh, I think you've seen that in episode 1 already. Uh, but we can get up here. Also, these, these spike walls, they hurt. They are spike spike fence, that's what it says. Well, it's a palisade. And this is a door. <laughs> it says it right there. It's a door. Really? There. <laughs> I like that. And, ooh, that was close. And we made some some of these. Wooden dinosaur gate. Well, yeah. Looks a little bit different, right? Sounds the same, behaves the same, comes with this support stuff around it. These you can actually make as a carpenter and just snap to that. And it says in the description, I have one on me, it says in the description, large wood gateway that can be used with a gate to keep most dinosaurs out, in and out. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So it doesn't say it in this description. I think in the crafting table, when you make it, it says it comes with these and you can attach to them. So we could run a walkway all around this, this thing. I don't know what that will look like because we obviously have different heights here. Uh, if they attach up there, that might look weird once we get over here because they will be... I would be able to jump on that from here almost. Uh, they come with stairs and different heights and double stairs and that's, that's really nice. I do want to do this. I really want to do this. And as you can see, I've extended quite far. Let's, let's run a little. That's why you notice that you can't tame dinosaurs uh, to make you go around faster. 
at least no flyers. I would really like to show you this from the top. Um, do me a favor, leave a comment if you would not mind me force taming a Pteranodon simply for the purpose of being able to, you know, fly up there and show you from, from top oh, what this looks like. Because from down here I always get the feeling you don't really see that much. Obviously when you build a house then you want to see the front and the back of the house and that's fine. Uh, but just to see how this village type thing that we're building here progresses, I think it might be nice to get a bird's eye view. And that's that would be all we would use it for. I wouldn't level weight or anything, just you know, to get up there. Uh, also, these these yellow sandish rocks over there, they don't do anything. I whacked them quite ferociously, and nothing happened. So yeah, don't ask. All right, and over here where it's semi flat, we're gonna put this if we can fit it in there somehow. Come on, snap to the right thing. It, this way, and then turn around, and thank you. Perfect. And put a gate in. Uh, oh, I have that here already. Nice. Ta-da! We still gammed up. Oh, we are. Why don't you tell me those things? I was sure I gammed back down. Also, we're dying already. Uh, it's so hot on this map. I mean, we installed the uh, the, the anti-fog mod, you know, the GTFO thing. And Bowden has placed one. But if I remember correctly, that only counters the effects for yourself, for whoever placed it, so I might have to make my own. It's like one thatch or so. So let me finish all of these. And I meet you guys right back once we get to uh, into the next venture. Hello. Nice for you to stop by. I have something for you. This one. And another one. Now you look like a trike. Oh, stop running! Oh, I was close. I'm back. Do my lunch. Well, if you keep running, you're gonna be at lunch for a T Rex somewhere over there. Alright. Munch on something else. It's fine. Hmm. Yeah, that's why I want to keep this open. I still, as you can see, have like seven of these palace art structures. Uh, let's put one more down here. Probably another one over here. And leave the rest open for now. Yeah, that's good. I like that. We are going to close this up eventually. We want to have this perfectly secure. As you can see, nothing can come up here. So we might... I mean, at some stage, all of this crafting stuff will be gone. Because it's, it's basically our base camp. Let's be honest. Uh, these will be gone, but currently, since we've just finished the palisade around the outside, which you can actually see quite far in the distance, it looks good. Um, this is going to be the village, so somebody, somebody will set up a house over there, and somebody will have one over here, and we might have a big marketplace, and there will be uh, staples for, you know, our, our dinosaurs, and... Did you come back? Yes, you did. See, I did, I did see you. I did see you right there. Is it you, my friend? Here. Here. Let's make you look like a trike again. And now you don't run away, now I kill you. Ha ha! Anybody else? Is. I like this house right here. Anybody else? No? Okay. So, yeah, this, this will be populated. And once it is, once the resources stop growing, then we can be quite sure that nothing else will spawn in here. So far we've had the occasional Dillo and one or two Dodos and otherwise we only get, well I guess the flyers keep flying in, they don't really spawn in there. Which is good, I like that, there's a Dillo coming. Um, these these Palisades can definitely keep anything out, that is perfect. We just don't want anything to spawn in here and once that happens, once we can be sure that nothing spawns here, um, all, all of this will be removed and we will have our different setups for, for the stuff. Alright, let me... Yeah, let me harvest that guy. Ow! Uh, there's my knife. Yeah, knife is definitely getter at bet getter at betting. <laughs> oh, jeez, better at getting hide uh, than the axe or the pick. So that's cool. Also, you know what? Let let's use the big door for once. At least these don't have the spiky wall effect. 
Ow. Yeah. Hello. Go home. You're not aggressive, no? Okay, that's fine then. <laughs> Quick way to find out. Uh, let's put all the stuff in here. Or not. Seems to be pretty full. Okay, so while I'm making the fence, there's one or two things I don't like about this mod. One of the things is all of this. I mean, it's cool to have all these different tools, but if I am crafting something in this carpenter's station, then I would expect that the tool I need, which in this case usually is the hammer, I would need in here and not on me. So, as I have it on me, the way the author has, or the mod author has done this, is whenever you craft something, um, before you start crafting, or when you start crafting, oh, I'm dehydrated, gorgeous, um, the, the, the game basically, oh, hey, uh, hello, Bowden. <laughs> the game basically calculates uh, how much durability you lose on your item, and if that breaks the item, then immediately when you start crafting, that item is broken, it's gone. So, um, let's say I'm currently using this wooden spindle to transform all of this fiber into uh, this. And as you can see, that, that durability was just here, it's now down here. But I can go and clear the queue. I do not get my durability back, which is an issue. Um, I, I wasted like six or seven saws because I needed to stop crafting to craft something else, but I had already queued everything up, so I wasted three saws on that. Great, right? Uh, well, that's just how that works. <laughs> Um, if you actually had to, you know, had your tool in the crafting station, then that could be avoided, because as long as you don't have the tool in here, it would just stop crafting, and when you put it in here, for every crafting cycle, it would use up durability, and that's good, and that's fine, and that's all you need. Let's put all of that in here and craft some more of these. That's it. It needs 15 wood and 8 plant string, and 8 plant string need 8 fiber. Uh, yeah, that takes a while. So let's let's take all of those. We have 16 now. What I want to do is quickly go over here and uh, claim a piece of land. And I think we're going to stay right here at the main entrance. Like right over here, because we have a nice straight piece of wall here. With a little not-so-straight piece <laughs> over here. Uh, well, we might as well just, you know, take that out at some stage and put a door in there and make a stairway down or something. I don't know. But this is nice and flat. I mean, look at this. Oh, the whole plateau was nice and flat. That's why we picked this spot. Um, but particularly here is nice and flat. So these fences, it says in the description, does it? Uh, does not require a foundation, but will snap to it. So we have some uneven terrain over here where we go down there. I want to fence this off and say, okay, from over here, uh, going out, let's say up until here, and then go over a ways, like, I don't know, over here. This is my territory. This is where I build my house, this is where I build my crafting station, this is where I can come in, this is where I house my dinosaurs. Probably, maybe not. And uh, then I have seen that we have sort of, well, streets, foundations, street foundations you could call them, road foundations, whatever. So these, these do snap, or the houses that you can craft do snap to these. So if we make, like, the street going down there, coming over here and then connecting to that, and there's a door over there, and you, you've seen the one we placed all the way over there. Have this our, our triangle street thing set up with a nice big square in the middle? You know, a town square, not an actual square. And then houses on the outside? Maybe a little road here and there? That would be cool. That's what I'm going for here. So, let's, let's pick. Um, hmm, let's see what that looks like. Can you snap here? Technically, you will snap on that foundation, but since there's a palace out there, we actually snap up there. That's interesting. <laughs> uh, that won't work, so we would have to do it manually. I do not want to do it manually. I still have... I'm dehydrated again. Oh yeah, it's warm. Ah, we need to do something about it. I, As you could see in my inventory, I do have a GTFO, uh, which I haven't placed yet. You know what, let's just put that down here. I don't think it really helps. No. Hello. Keep running. Got the same issue as I have. Isn't that great? There you go. No time. Got no time for dying. Alright, um, I'm gonna pick those foundations from uh, the crafting bench, and I'm gonna start making that fence. 
I'll meet you right back. All right. <laughs> we have a home. We have claimed our piece of land. There you go. Ten deep, fifteen wide. Had to fiddle a little bit with that corner over there. That's uh, obviously due to that one palisade that's not straight. But I got that to work. Let's have a look. Had to offset this a little. Let's drink some. Yeah. Uh, because it would have fit in here. As you can see, I just had to pull it back towards me a little bit. But then the, the fence wouldn't place. Due to obstructed. Oh well. Nobody sees that. Anyway. Uh, we've also figured out where to make the, uh, the roads. The stone pavement. It's done in the masonry table, which we've set over there next to the palisade. And now we need to figure out how to make the tools that you need to make those stone roads. <laughs> That's a never-ending thing. The big problem is that all of these things are bound, well, all the engrams are bound by the crafting station and not by your inventory. So you don't have them, like, in here. You can't just go and say, uh, where is the spear? And then hover over it and see it requires crafting station, like this one. Requires mortar and pestle. Um, you have you have no idea. It just told me I needed some piece of equipment, and I went through all the crafting stations, and I don't have it. <laughs> but what I do have is leveled up, level 48 now, which means we can do the level 45 stuff. Boop, there you go. Uh, it doesn't cost anything, so as I said, let's learn all of them. And I think, yeah, that's the piece of tool I actually need. So it might just be that the journeyman mason just unlocked that. Well, let's have a look. I think it's a little bit weird if you look in here and then see there. Medium stone papers snap and large and non-snap and stairs. Steps. Okay. Um, and then it tells you... What just happened? Nothing happened. All right. There. Needs a trowel. Trowel? Trowel? something um, to craft that but, and then that's not in here so obviously this guy oh wow what's that a town hall we need a town hall let's get started on a town hall right now I put all my stone in here just so we could get started and well that thing isn't in here is it in here no that's a spearhead um, it's not in here it doesn't make it any easier that half of the things do don't have an icon. <laughs> uh, it's a knife, that's a sword. Well, it's actual metal stuff now. That's interesting. There was a vault. I've seen that. You don't make that, right? No, you don't make that. That would have been weird. Um, not you. That's a farm fence post. All right. For what a reason. Oh, a rake. Hmm. I guess you need that for farming. Uh, there's all kinds of arrows in here. Which we're gonna get into and see how good they are. Um, um, nope, that doesn't really help. Trowel. Nope, it's not in here. Uh, it's probably not in here, unless you carve that out of wood. No, it's not in here. Hmm, where else could that be? It's not in the general work table. Nope, that, that's not a trowel. Uh, let's, let's check again. No. Uh, not you. And we did check here, right? Play pipe straight. Oh yeah, TR as in straight. Hmm. Not in here. I don't know. Is it in here? No, it's not. Um, well, there, there's still some stuff that we haven't placed, but... Well, we'll see. For now... Floating. Tch, there's Bowden. Well, I'm probably gonna meet up with Bowden and do the next episode right away. Well, you never know. That's that just a thing that might happen. <laughs> That's it for today, folks. If you liked the video, like the video. Subscribe for more. Leave a comment if you feel like it. Don't forget to enjoy yourselves. Say hi to Mascot. See you soon.